Trump's ladder. This car replaced the Triumph 1300, more modern Triumph for the day. An excess, excess successor was the Triumph Dolomite. And it's done 7,500 miles. Done 5,500 when the last gentleman bought it. There we are. But back to other cars here. Scimitars. Princess Anne had a light scimitar. Another scimitar there. Scimitar GT. Another one there. Got the Morris Marina there. 1700, black one. I think he's attended the Longbridge Rally as well. Lancia Elite here. Yeah. I'm innocent. Got me. I never did it. <laughs> Triumph. Which, which engine do they put in this one? Triumph. Harold here. Morris Minor. And 67, done 75,000 more. We've done 67,000 up to 2008 when the present owner bought it. Derek loves Autonet well, 60 here. He's not been well, unfortunately. Uh, something else even rarer here. Gilburn here, another British name. MGBs here. It's really the later production model with the Plastic bumpers, as was law by then. But the early ones did have the chrome bumpers. MG Midgets, the various MGBs here, and the Triumph TR6. These are from the Worcester MG Owners Club. Thanks to them for making the event of these people coming with a collectible car, classic car, to make the event as it is, what it is. Triumph. Harold, 1360, that's the estate building. Ah. Looks like the... <laughs> Triumph Sprite there. That's a small sports car. It's a good turnout probably. Classic cars, classic and vintage. Something got an American car coming in here. The Morris Miner's gone. Customised Morris Miner. Good turnout here at the St. Richard's Festival. Lido Park here, this is the car park, here in Drutwich. <laughs>